All right, back at you with another one. It is the 60 to 600 millimeter f 4.5 to 6.3 sport lens from Sigma. Let's get into it. Welcome back. It is part two of a two-part mini series here on the channel, checking out some really great sports, wildlife, and portrait lenses from Sigma. Now, before we get started, I just wanna send a huge shout out to my friends over at Sigma for reaching out and offering to send over this really cool gear to check out and try here on the channel. They're making some really great stuff. And if you're into sports or wildlife or portraiture, I definitely think you wanna check out Sigma, these couple of lenses, as well as the other suite of things that they are putting out. So. Huge shout out to Sigma for sending this stuff over. So last week we checked out the 120 to 300 F2.8 from Sigma. And now we are gonna check out another sports and wildlife, maybe even a portrait lens. It is the 60 to 600 millimeter F4.5 to 6.3 lens from Sigma. Now, high level overview on this lens. If you are getting into sports or wildlife photography, this is definitely something that you wanna keep your eyes on. The obvious draw to this lens is in its range and really it is pretty incredible. At the wide end, you're at 60 millimeters and that'll go a long way to help get those really nice wide angle landscape establishing shots and even portraits. And then on the zoom end, you can go all the way into 600 millimeters, some massive focal length, which will help isolate your subject and get those really nice close up action shots of your subject. Now it is not a fixed aperture lens, so as you zoom, it does change the aperture starting at 4.5 and going up and as you zoom in. So that is certainly a consideration if you find yourself shooting in low light situations quite a bit. That's something that you will have to work with working at a higher aperture. But for the price point that it hits under $2,000, this is certainly something that you'd probably be willing to work with just because of the amount of focal length and zoom that you are getting with this lens. When you talk about a 400 or a 500 or a 600 prime telephoto lens, you're looking at $10,000 and above. So really no comparison there and definitely something that'll help boost your telephoto game in your photo kit. Out of the box, again, another really solidly built lens just like that 120 to 300. Feels stable and sturdy and definitely built for work out in the elements. On the side, it's got the intelligent optical image stabilization system, which definitely will help to minimize the camera shake when it comes to using a lens like this while handheld. And it also has the other custom focus modes right here on the side, including the manual override focus mode, which allows you to manually intervene when you're using that autofocus setting. And just like that 120 to 300, it's also got that tripod and monopod collar built in, which rotates to a full 360 degrees if you wanna use a little bit of extra support. I think that's a super nice feature to add on. It is a longer lens physically when you're talking about size and the barrel of the lens also does extend in and out when you zoom in and out. Now another consideration here is the size of the front element. There's definitely a bigger front element than many of the other telephoto lenses. It comes in at 105 millimeters. So if you do need to buy a filter, just keep in mind that that's gonna be a little bit more costly than most of the other filters that you usually purchase for your lenses. Now they make a Nikon, Canon, and Sigma mount version of this lens. So just about any system that you've got going, this will be a good option for you. So today the Boston Red Sox have another game at Fenway Park. We're gonna go over there and we're gonna give it a try right now. Okay, so day game today, which I feel like is a good time to check this lens out. So we get some pictures throwing right now. So I'm just gonna get out there and uh, see what it's got. So today we are using the 60 to 600 with the Nikon D5 body. This is one of my go-to bodies for shooting sports. Um, and it works great with the Nikon system, but keep in mind they also make the version of this lens for the Canon mount and Sigma. So pretty much any system that you've got going on, this lens will work great for. And if you are onto the mirrorless system, say a Nikon Z6 II or a Z7, this lens will work with the Nikon FTZ mount adapter. So it'll work great if you are onto mirrorless and have kind of left DSLRs in the dust, but call me old school for now. But out of the box, this feels great in the hand. Definitely lightweight, much lighter than that 120 to 300 that we looked at a couple weeks ago. I would say it's about six pounds. Um, so really easy, feels manageable to walk around with or roam with if you're out there shooting sports. 
um, or wildlife, it feels great in the hand and definitely like a nice portable lens. Focal length ring feels super easy to turn. So going from 60 out to 600 and anywhere in between feels much easier, much looser than that 120 to 300 that we were looking at. You don't really have to like put all that oomph and that muscle behind it. It just goes nice and smooth. But one thing to also keep in mind is as you go out, the lens does extend. So if you're shooting up against glass or a net or anything like that, you do just have to keep in mind that the lens size is going to change as you go up. So just initial thought during this throw around right here is it's super nice to have 600 millimeters of focal length. That's crazy. I mean, we don't even own a 600 here. I rarely use anything like a 600. So nice to be able to just zoom really far in with a lens that's not gonna run you 12 or $13,000. Um, so if you are sports or wildlife and you're looking for a crazy amount of zoom on somewhat of a budget, this is a great option for you. And it is smooth going in and out and it's just nice to be able to show different focal lengths with one lens. You saw I was just shooting the runners over there. You can get the tight shots of them running, but then also those kind of looser, more environmental shots that show a little bit more of the scene. As you zoom in, your aperture changes and therefore your exposure changes. And that's just something that you have to be ready to compensate for or adjust for. If you're in a situation where your light's changing or even if the light is consistent, you kind of have to crank that ISO a little bit higher just to compensate for that change in aperture. Again, a small price to pay, I think, if you're not looking to spend an absolute fortune on a 600 that's F4 all the way through. Another nice cool feature with this lens that I do like is let's say you know you're kind of zooming in and out between 60 and 600 and then you kind of find a focal length that you want to stay at. So let's say 200 millimeters or so. I can dial in that focal length and then just hit this lock button right here and then I am locked in at 200 millimeters. So if I push and pull the focal length ring it's not going anywhere and I can just lock in right at that number. Shooting this pitching session right here, pretty much pitching at full speed, and I'm at 12.50 of a second at f6.3, all the way in at 600. And it's uh, it's really sharp. It looks really sharp. Now, it will be interesting to see how it performs once the pitchers and the players are kind of in full speed game mode, as far as the autofocus tracking and actually locking on to the subject. I'm curious to see how that works, but for right now, at kind of like half speed, everything looks really sharp. It's a nice lens. Here we are, game time. First pitch underway. First initial observation is it's definitely a sharp lens, but it's not quite as fast as far as autofocus and actually locking on to the subject. It doesn't feel like it does that as quickly as the other Sigma lens that we were looking at a couple weeks ago. It feels like, you know, it takes a little bit to get there, a little bit to track on. But I will say, once it actually does track on, it's really nice, it's really sharp, really clean pictures. The colors look good. I'm zooming in on the left fielder right now, who's about, you know, 350 feet away from me, and I can pretty much get him full on in frame at 600 millimeters, like filling the frame. And that's like a super nice option to have, especially, you know, at this price point. I'm at ISO 800 because the aperture is at 6.3. Usually for a day game, my ISO would probably be down to, you know, three or 400. But again, not a huge difference when you're compensating for all that extra reach that you're able to get. And I think that's pretty cool. And I gotta say, for these at-bats, where I'm, you know, pretty close already, I'm about 30 feet away from the at-bat, but at 600, it's pretty cool. These are pictures that I'm not usually able to get. Really up in there, getting these details shot, the sunglasses, the batting gloves. I think that's pretty cool to have for a sports lens. It's nice to have an alternative look to the stuff that we're used to seeing at 400 or 72. And then what you're looking at right now is a comparison at 60 millimeters. So all the way out wide at 60, it's pretty cool. You can get this really nice establishing shot. 200 right here, you're kind of getting like a mid body shot. And then got him running up the line and I can, I can track him as he's going. Now I'm at 600, beautiful. Really nice. 
does a great job. If you are shooting soccer, football, field hockey, lacrosse, any sport with a big old field, I think this is a really nice option for you. I don't think this is the option if you are a professional who's been shooting sports for a long time, but if you are an amateur parent shooting photos of their kids or just starting to get into professional jobs but you don't have the massive budget for a big sports lens, this is a fantastic option for you. All right, so there you have it, folks, another game and the final verdict. Honestly, I'm super impressed by this lens from Sigma. Now, if you're a professional sports photographer and you're at the top of your game, you've been doing this for a long time, this probably isn't the lens for you. You're probably at a more advanced level than what this lens can offer. But if you are just starting out in sports or wildlife photography, you're starting to get more serious about it, and you're looking to upgrade your telephoto lens kit, I think this 60 to 600 from Sigma is definitely something that you wanna check out. Overall, a huge draw of this lens is its range, giving you wide angle capability at 60 millimeters and also super zoom capability at 600 millimeters and everything in between all in one lens. Overall, it performs very well. It's a sharp lens and the colors look great all the way through. Now, after using this lens for a couple games, I did find that it doesn't find and lock on to focus as quickly as some of the other competitors and not as quickly as that 120 to 300 that we looked at last week. Also, with it being a variable aperture lens starting at f4.5 and going up from there, if you do find yourself often shooting in lower light conditions, that is definitely going to be a challenge that you'll have to work through with this lens and you're definitely gonna have to push up your ISOs quite a bit in order to get the right exposure. But those minor setbacks are things that I am definitely willing to compromise on given the quality of the lens and the crazy price point of under $2,000 for 600 millimeters of focal length. So definitely something to consider if you are looking to boss up your telephoto zoom lens kit. Now, I really wanna thank Sigma again for hooking it up with these couple of lenses. I super appreciate the support on the channel and I really appreciate you guys following along on the channel. If you have any questions about this lens, my experience with it, anything I can answer, please drop it as a comment down below. If you like what you see here on the channel, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe. I always appreciate the support and we'll catch you guys at the next one.